Most of the windmills that I've had pretty good success with have been horizontal axis wind turbines that yaw themselves from a wind vane to face the wind. For whatever reason, people are always much more enthralled by vertical axis wind turbines than they are by horizontal ones. And I used to make a lot of vertical axis wind turbines, so I figured I'd go back with a lot of the new skills and knowledge that I've learned now and see if I can make something that works pretty well on a vertical axis. So I made this little abomination. This is my idea was I just took the blades from a horizontal axis wind turbine and it was like I just bent them downward and then flipped the turbine. That was my thinking at least. And it worked pretty well, which I was surprised because I put so little effort into the thought of the design. But in my mind, I was like, okay, well, it's basically the same thing, right? You just take the blades, you put them down, it works. But that's not actually what was happening. And that was evident when I tried to make this next design. The next design was, I thought in my mind, I wanted something that was infinitely variable. So I figured, okay, well, you can, you know, shift the carriage along these dowel, these square dowel rods, and that can be your diameter. And then I added these little butterfly looking wings with the thought that, okay, well, what does a wind turbine do? Well, it basically has a, a difference in coefficient of drag on the front of the blades versus the back. You know, the fronts should be very sloped and curved and, and very aerodynamic versus the back. It should be designed to collect as much drag as possible. That's basically how an anemometer works, those little cup shaped things. You know, that was my idea with this. So I made these little butterfly wings and I was abhorred when I saw it and it spins backwards. That is really the worst possible thing that could happen because if it spins and it doesn't spin very well, it's like, okay, I just need to improve my design. Even if it spins backwards, it's like, okay, well, I guess I didn't realize what I was doing, but it still works. You know, it still spins. But this was not only did it spin backwards, but it didn't spin well. So we were like, okay, well, obviously I have no idea what I'm doing here. So that's why I'm making this video. I would have loved for this video to be a, hey, check out this awesome thing that I made. And eventually I'm hoping that that's, that's what will be coming in the future is so that you can see this infinitely variable vertical axis wind turbine with, you know, adaptive pitch, adaptive diameter, stuff like that. But right now, I'm sort of at my wits end with it. I don't even, I just, I sit there and I look at it and it just puts me in a bad mood because I'm like, what is this? What is going on? How does it spin backwards? So if you have any idea why that could be, I would really appreciate you telling me because I am like beyond confused. Even if you only have like a faint idea or something that may or may not be the case, why you think it spins backwards, just please tell me because I have looked at this stupid thing for like hours and I cannot think of a single reason why that would be the case. So I have a lot more to say on this topic than people are going to be interested in hearing, but it just seems to me like windmills, I'm at a point right now where... The more ambitious they get, the more heavier they get, and so thus the the risk increases of one of them falling from my third floor apartment balcony and killing somebody beneath. And on top of that, it just kind of feels like I've already done a lot of things, and I don't know what else to be trying with windmills. At least until, I don't really talk about personal stuff that much on my channel, I try to avoid it. I don't know why, I just don't think it'll be very interesting to people. But I will graduate school here in six months, and so I'm thinking that if I'm lucky and I get a real job, you know, maybe within a year or two, I'll actually have a house. Maybe that's too ambitious. <laughs> but eventually, hopefully, I'll be I'll be living somewhere with a little bit more space, a little bit closer to the ground where the risk of me killing bystanders is less. I was going to, along the just the vertical axis wind turbine stuff, it seems like the variable pitch for vertical axis wind turbines is less important. I did, I, I successfully made a design for a horizontal axis wind turbine that has variable pitch and variable diameter but it was so big that I didn't have anywhere to mount it. So it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just, I'm at a point, that's why I say I'm at a point right now with windmills where it's kind of like, I'm not probably gonna do much else. I have a ton of new followers that I, that I have found me from some of my other videos and none of the videos that they found me from for the most part are about windmills. So I'm starting to think that maybe for, for the near term, windmills have run their course, at least for my channel. You know, you look at, Renewable energy is not going out of vogue. It's very much a, a growing technology. But when you look at what are the renewable energy solutions that are coming about, well, it's, it's large scale, really tall horizontal axis wind turbines. And it's for smaller scale stuff, it's solar panels. You know, there's a reason why we don't have wind turbines on all of our houses. I think, I think it was Undecided with Matt Farrell has a really good video about why that is the case. And I won't go too much into it here, but that's this is all to say why you're probably not going to be seeing as much windmill content and why you're probably going to be seeing a lot more other technology slash education, Arduino, stuff like that kind of content. So if you've watched it this far in this very long and drawn out and boring video, I commend you. This is my first video back after break. And so I'm still kind of getting in the gear of things. We have a whole bunch of new people on Christopher's Factory. So thank you for joining and coming aboard 
And with that, I thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day.